So these are basically lines which resemble uh, the calendars. Um, this one is basically the calendar before the the Caesarian calendar, the Julian calendar. Um, so it has around an average of 29 days on its monthly calendar, whereas the Julian calendar introduced a 31 days is a couple of days extra. And so that means uh, the season, the seasonal rotation actually lags in the long term with the sun. And so in the old calendar, which was two days um, behind, that means it's two days shorter, two days quicker. And so, you know, when it was when it was uh, January, say, it was uh, the sun was uh, um, coming around the season of January quicker. So they had obviously a four a four day earlier autumn season, which resulted in uh, perhaps a, uh, a four day earlier winter season. So generally they're a week before in this season. And for a time, the seasons fitted these bouts. So when it was March, it was a fitting autumn. When it was October, it was a fitting end of winter. It, when it was December, it was a fitting um, summer season. However, for some reason, the seasonal rotation began to... Um, Slacken, and so people were ready, readying themselves for a crop which was lagging according to this calendar. And so when it was autumn, the sun was still too hot. When it was winter, when it was the end of winter, coming into spring the winter would elongate into spring. When it was summer, the wet season would elongate into summer. And so what was happening was uh, the crop seasons were going out of whack. People were planting in the wrong condition and it was resulting in failing crop. And what Julius Caesar did, did when he realized this alteration was happening, that the seasons were no longer fitting in, in with the calendar, he decided to make a calendar with a couple more days so that uh, the seasonal exchange would even out and it would um, be a more fa favorable condition for crop growers and farmers and would decrease um, starvation and uh, failing crops. And so when it was so when it was time to get into autumn, um, by the old calendar they would have already started autumn, whereas by the new calendar autumn would be just starting because the days were, the months were longer. And so, and so this was used to sort of fix what was going wrong with the season. And so, when it came time for autumn, it was already, um, 
it, it stopped the summer from crossing into autumn and so it introduced the cool weather when it was coming into spring um, it would it would be a more proper season and so you wouldn't have winter frost um, coming in to destroy the crops by spring you'd have a proper exchange so that the wet season would aid in order to just prosper uh, the seasonal change also you have spring starting at a proper rate and then of course summer starting at a proper rate um, because the wet season is no longer um, branching into the summer season, the wet season is stopping and allowing the summer season to start. And this, in return, helped to farm growers to grow proper crops. And that was the aim of the Julian calendar, uh, to not to not just change the days, but to change the days to fit the cycle of nature, which had alternated um, since the 45 BC calendar. And there was that sort of exchange there, which branched off into the redevelopment of the new calendar, which is the Gregorian calendar, which I think um, is like the Julian calendar, but it, it alternated it, so it wouldn't have um, so many um, decimals in its total value of days. Um, it, it actually was reformed in order to not be as messy as this is, um, the Julian calendar. And it sort of knitted up season. In a way, the Julian calendar failed to... But this one wasn't based on the cycles of nature. It was just based on this previous reform. And it was aimed just to even out the days and the months, so it had a totally different purpose. It was just to have even numbers and a less complicated system, uh, whereas the Julian calendar had been developed uh, for um, better farming in mind. 